Well, it is Thanksgiving right now. Thanksgiving Eve. No, Thanksgiving night. Yeah. So, I was talking to somebody about cleaning a toilet. And they said, well, why don't you make a video on cleaning this one? So, uh, you normally... I don't wear gloves when I clean a toilet, but this is pretty gross. And... Um, what I've done before, I've done videos on cleaning a toilet with the Works, which so far is the best product i found. The Works is the best at cleaning. I've used, I've done a review of, uh, I just got a message on the phone. Um, I've done a review of Lysol Toilet Ball Cleaner, which is, it looks exactly like the Works, but the Works works better. The Works works better. Yes, it does. The Works you can buy at the dollar store for about a dollar. Lysol stuff costs a lot more. So this toilet is massively filthy. And the problem with cleaning toilets is you have to, to do it the right way, you really need to get this water out of the toilet. And I don't want to... I mean, there, there's just a lot of grossness in this toilet. And so I'm gonna, there's a bathtub next to this. Um, I'm going to sponge this up as best I can and then clean the floor up of all the water that's dripping all over the place. But what I don't want to do, I don't want to... Um, the sponge is not that good. What I don't want to do is get the sponge on all this nastiness because I want to see is the uh, cleaner going to do what it's supposed to do. Now, oh boy, there's water flying everywhere, all over the floor. Um, I am not going to turn off the camera because that is going to mean I have to take the gloves off and wash everything. And No. Okay, there's water all over the bathtub now. You can't see that, which is a good thing. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using CLR. Now, the idea behind CLR is this line over here is usually a calcium lime deposit. And that's the idea behind CLR. The problem is that it looks like this line is not only, oh boy, there's water all over the floor now. This is all going to have to be disinfected. This uh, is going to take a couple minutes. Sorry. Not only is that uh, calcium deposit over there, but this, this is, there's a lot more uh, toilet junk in here than just um, calcium and lime and... So the whole idea of the video is going to be, will CLR not only remove the calcium and lime line, but will it also remove this stuff? And I'm sure if I just used a paper towel, this stuff would come off. Oh, I just got some toilet water on my jeans. That's not good. I'm going to have to wash these jeans afterwards. <coughs> I've been sick all week, got a viral infection, not from a toilet, but I got a viral infection. A viral infection just means you don't have a bacterial infection, and it's like a cold. A cold is a viral infection. So, I just been having a really bad cough, a very bad cough. And bad enough, I don't like doctors. I freak out going to doctors and hospitals. And I went to urgent care because I was coughing so much. I said, give me a cough medicine that's going to stop this coughing. I mean, I'm a wuss. I don't even take aspirin. I do not take medication at all. I did. But I was in so... No, go away. Go away. Go. Go. Sorry, that's the dog. and She wants to run in here and lick this stuff off the floor. Go. Go. Good girl. She's a very stubborn dog. She's a very strong-headed dog. And if I say go, she will look at me and want to walk towards me. Or she'll stand there like, why do I have to go? So she's a, a very tough, very strong girl. She's a wonderful dog. So the uh, so I went there and I said, give me something so I'll stop coughing. Because my ribs are killing me. I am in so much pain. And I knew what they were going to do. They gave me a worthless prescription for... Um, 
he said it would numb my throat so I wouldn't feel the cough. And it did, not only did it not numb my throat, but I coughed and coughed and my ribs were in so much pain that I was laying on the floor and the dog, I, I, I jumped to the floor, I was sitting in a chair, I was in so much pain, I went to the floor to grab my sides, to grab my ribs, and the dog got so worried she came over and started licking my face, and she didn't know what was happening, but she knew something was wrong. So, it's been a rough week for me, and the uh, cough is almost gone, I still have a little bit of congestion left. So you, if you're cleaning a toilet, you can take your solution and put it in there, in the water, it might work, it's going to be, and I just got my hand stuck on the toilet. It's going to, there's going to be so much water in there, it's going to dilute the solution, and it, you're just wasting your time, unless it's some hardcore thing. I've never tried the works with a toilet bowl filled up with water. Now, the dangerous part about this is once you get the water out, out of there, you open up the water trap to getting sore water, sore gas into the, into the house, into the air, and that's extremely poisonous. Okay, so all the water's out of there. I'm going to just wipe up the water off the floor right now, and then I'm going to go take off the gloves, and I'm going to get myself all cleaned up, turn on the camera again, and we'll uh, put CLR in here and see what happens. Can I shut this off with my elbow? Probably not. So hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. I've got a spray bottle of lime, calcium, and rust, um, which is a spray thing probably made by the same company that makes this. This is a, a liquid. Um, this is lime away, lime, calcium, and rust. So this is a, a toilet spray, a toilet bowl thing to get under the rim. And the, stu uh, the other stuff I bought is a spray. So I'm going to use this because we can all buy this in the dollar store at the store. Lime away, calcium rust, lime calcium and rust, thick gel, toilet bowl cleaner. Um, after I put this on here, I don't know if I have to, but is there a special way to do this? So I don't know how thick this is. Um, this was bought at the dollar store. So I don't care if I use the whole thing because it only cost a dollar. And if you like my videos, you're going to watch them and you're going to do a thumbs up and a subscribe and a like and a share and you're going to help me out and it's going to help my channel grow and we're all going to be happy. But if you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. If you don't want to do that, do that thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, definitely leave a comment to help me out. I know all those YouTube people say that. So I'm just going to shoot the whole bottle in here. Um, there goes a dollar down the drain, people, to help you out. To help you out. Now, it does say thick. It would be really nice if this was very thick. I don't know how long they want you to leave this in the toy bottle for. I think that's Spanish for toilet, toilato. Um, what does it say? I should read the instructions now that I did this. To open a resistant cap, um, flush toilet and remove excess dirt and grime. I didn't remove anything because I really want to see what this is going to do. Um, squeeze for approximately 15 seconds and then replace cap securely. I put the whole thing in here. Let's soak for at least 10 minutes. Do not close toilet bowl. That's because the toxic fumes would be dangerous. Brush entire bowl thoroughly with the bowl brush and flush. Rinse bowl brush in fresh water after use. For tough rust calcium, apply a generous amount. I did. Directly onto tough stains. For severe stains, if possible, remove water from toilet bowl before applying. I did that. Let's soak for 15 minutes. Do not close toilet lid. Follow cleaning steps four and five, which was clean the brush. It's been specially formulated to use only in toilet bowls. It should not be used in your kitchen. No, it should not be used in other places, but toilet bowls, lids, vanities, sinks, bathtubs, cabinets. Um, 
Clean up spills and drips immediately. Do not use with chlorine, bleach, or any other chemical. Keep out of reach of children. Corrosive, harmful, or fatal if swallowed. Okay, that's pretty dangerous. I'm going to close the top. I didn't get any stuff on my hands. I definitely want to close the top. Well, people, camera is back on. You get a good view of that. Okay. Now, when I make my videos, I get tons of people that always say, this is nasty, this is gross, wear gloves. And in this case, I wore gloves because this toilet was absolutely gross, intentionally, for the video. And I am wearing gloves again to do the cleaning. Normally, I wouldn't. I know this stuff is, t is usually toxic, the works, all of this stuff has got muriatic acid and other things in it. But in this case, um... This has got that lime away stuff, and using gloves like this is probably not a smart thing because it could melt these things right onto the hand. But let's see. what I could, I could just do a flush right now and see what it did, but I, I don't want to waste all of this. I want to wipe. As I said, I know this part would come off. The, the, this is an easy thing for this solution to clean. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, now... You can hear it in my voice. I'm pretty darn surprised. Now, I love, absolutely love the works. It is an incredible product to use. You can see, you can't see it over here right now as I'm cleaning the rim. But I did not, I honestly did not think this would do the water line. The most important thing is what is going to happen when I drain this toilet, when I get all this, but I can't really drain it because this stuff's... This is chemically. Is that a word, chemically? Chemically? So I, now that I can see how really good this is, I'm going to use this on the bottom to try to do a real clean job. And um, I've got to say that I've always been really impressed with the works, but this, at the end of this video, the works right now is in competition for number one with, oh, woo, smell that chemical stuff. Um, in competition with this, because this stuff, I'm really impressed with this. If this cleans all the sediment down at the bottom, which the works does do, but not 100%, but if this takes all of the sediment off, then this is the number one toilet bowl cleaner. I am really glad that I've got the gloves on now. Um, I'm not pressing hard, but like I said, the reason I'm doing an extra special clean job is I see how effective this has been. So I'm trying to get this into the rim and to just get a good clean with the chemical instead of flushing it down. And I'm going to have to flush it down in a minute because I really... Ow! Okay, so so much for the gloves. The, the water just went down the gloves. Let's flush it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get over to the water hole over there. Okay, I, I'm pretty excited. You know, there's nothing more exciting than cleaning a toilet. It really isn't. And the works has always been my number one toilato cleaner. Now I'm going into that water hole, I'm digging in deep, I'm grinding the middle finger deep into that opening. Um, I'm going to go, okay, so the water just got on the, on the gloves. I'm going to have to flush this and get this stuff out of here. This might be the number one toilet bowl cleaner. We are watching history take place right now. The sediment at the back totally gone, but, but it's just gone. Not only is it gone, I'm looking, I don't see the water lines. I know you have to look in the daytime when you get better light. Try to look at the rim as best as I can see it. Hold on. Got the camera back on. I gotta get these gloves off. I can feel some of that stuff going down the edge of the glove and I don't like the feeling. I want to flush this a couple more times to get some of this gunk out of here. It just does not want to go down. Come on. The toilet looks like it's brand new. 
I've got, I really need to get this bubbly stuff out of here. You can see it kind of went down over there. It's a little irritate on the skin. Um, and a little bit of bubbly over here. Let's try this on the Toilato seat. What does it do? It's probably just going to take it right off. Plastic, probably not the best thing to be doing with that. But what is it going to do? Absolutely incredible. Because there's still some solution on here. And I'm putting it on the seat right now, and it's just cleaning the bottom of the seat and doing a really nice job. Oh, wow. And I, I don't, I don't know, I think I have another bottle of the works. But, um, be really careful, you know, I wanted to go around the edge of the toilet, but you got to be careful unless you wipe this stuff down, because these chemicals, ow, it's starting to burn out. Come on and flush. Why isn't this thing filling up? I got to get this thick this glove off of my hand. It's starting to burn. Why hasn't this thing filled up? Fill up already. Is the rubber in the tank messed up? Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Um, I'm going to give you a guided tour of the toilet seat. I mean the toilet bowl in a minute. So you can see what this looks like. Um, and I see a little bit of a ring over here. There is definitely a little bit of a stain. I can still see a little bit of a stain over here. So... But as I go up and down, it doesn't feel like it's rough. It's not a ridge, so it's probably it's probably just a stain. It doesn't feel like any buildup or anything. The water is shiny. It's beautiful. i got to get this glove off before my hand falls off. Um, oh my gosh, this is not good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Alright, this video is probably like a half an hour long now. Do I even have enough battery power on this thing? Um, I gotta get this off. Gotta get it off. Da 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 da. Um, oh, now I'm filling the glove with water, and that's not smart. And the water's hot, so now it's burning. It's burning, it's burning, and I'm trying to clean the bathtub of all that water that I poured in here originally from the Toilato. Um, ah, I'm almost done. Um, okay, we got the sponge. Ow! Oh, that's hot. That's El Hato. El Hato Zato. Lucho El Hato Grande. El Verno on my hands -o. Um. Okay, I've got the, uh, the sponge is disinfected enough of all that, and I drop it in the back of the cup. Um, i got to get this glove off. Glove off. Okay, glove off. The glove is off. Got a, it's boiling hot water. Ow! 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 Okay, i got the hands clean. Um, I'm going to go wash my hands now, and I'll come back and finish off this vitiosis for everybody. Um, oh, the dog is here to make sure I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay, little lady. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just got uh, burned with a little bit of calcium lime remover and some hot water. But all is good. This is it, people. Look at this. Unbelievable. Can I get under the rim? Everybody always wants to see under a rim. Um, there's, there's, look at that. There are the rim holes. You know, that's the rim. When you clean the rim, that's called a rim. Okay, I can't say that. Uh, the rim is absolutely spotless. I have never seen a toilet this dirty end up like this around the rim. Now, here is where it's really big. Okay, not 100%. Let's look down there. We'll zoom on down there. That did not come off 100%. Let's zoom on in. That is the only part that didn't come off. Everything else, this toilet looks like brand new. 
I'm going to try one thing. Try getting, I was going to use the sponge, but I'm going to try this little brush and see if it breaks away any of that stuff. I said I really don't want to scrape it. No, it's not going to. Okay, so what do I want to say? The best toilet bowl cleaner that I have ever used is calcium lime, lime calcium, what, what the heck was that stuff? I don't even remember. Uh, lime cal it, it, well, it was not listed as CLR. It was just lime calcium rust cleaner that I bought at the dollar store. Pretty incredible. Absolutely amazing. And for a buck. Second place would be the works. But this is absolutely remarkable.